what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so today we're going to be talking about what happened to charles lee ray yes as we know we have the chucky tv series coming out later this year hopefully depending on how filming and everything goes out in canada uh they're supposed to start shooting i think like the next eight or seven days the next week or so really excited about that can't wait to see all the behind the scenes things that come out we know we have jennifer tilly back uh we have zachary arthur who's going to be playing our new protagonist jake uh who's going to be a part of the lgbt community i believe he's going to be gay he's going to be struggling i guess to come out in ways and chucky in a sixth sense will be helping him come out that's obviously what they might be playing on here they're going to have this killer doll who is helping this character who's going to be sympathetic depending on how his story is told and everything help this character come out to his uh family and his friends is gay and it's it's we're probably going to be seeing him struggling with that. That's probably what's going to happen to be the central one of the central conflicts internally for that character to make us feel for him. So the other thing, like I said, talking about Charles Lee Ray, we know we're going to be heading to what appears like his hometown where he grew up at. So the thing that this would tell me is that Chucky always goes places for a reason. We've learned since Curse of Chucky. Uh, he went to that house at the end of the film, as we knew of because Nika's mother was the one who called the cops on him which led to the opening chase that we saw at the beginning of the first film now of course that was not in the original plans they I, things like that you you know that was not in the original plans they're just writing as they go I get it some people who find that unbelievable I, I get that too it's not that it was illogical it's just it's clear as day that it's shoehorned in there but shoehorned is shoehorn can come off good or bad Th that shoehorn did not come off bad because it wasn't overly illogical or anything like that in my opinion it didn't leave uh too many things on it didn't leave too many holes in the store to me so we know that he went to nika's house to kill that family because their mother turned him in which led to him not turned him in but called the cops which led to the chase between him and detective norris at the opening of the original film we know that he follows nika to the asylum later to of course finish what he started with her in curse of chucky and now he's going to what looks like his childhood home in this new film we know he has his soul now broken out into different parts in multiple dolls so when this idealistic town is thrown into turmoil because of this doll's presence uh this town is going to be holding secrets to why he became who he is today now what i'm going to assume is we'll have some type of sympathetic background for charles lee right now we'll get to learn about his troubled past at home with his because i've already talked about barbara cramped barbara crampton possibly appearing in the series as his mother that's something that's been talked about but to me from again the source from reddit ys so barbara crampton could be appearing as his mother maybe there's a bad relationship there between him and his mother maybe something happened with his mother that he now that left a scar on him because if you lose a mother at a young age in a very traumatic way uh that can leave a scar on you let's say he was bullied they probably will give us that just how like freddie was bullied son of a hundred maniacs is what they what they like to toss around to freddie from what we saw in the last freddie film so i think we'll get something similar with chucky i think this is what they're going to try to do they're going to try to make sense of who this person is to let us know how he got to where he is and i don't want to say that that's not important because anyone who ends up uh being a sadistic human being and doing that type of stuff to people something happened to you something happened to you something you've been hurt more ways than anyone probably should have been hurt and you have unfortunately now started making actions that are going to ruin your life you're ruining the lives of others you're taking lives and you clearly are not right in the head anymore because of past trauma that's not to say that that's the case for everyone some people like michael myers <laughs> could just be doing things because they are just sick but learning why chucky is the way that he is i don't i i know i've talked about telling us that will will take away his what he's take away like the threat of his character in my opinion like it would diminish the threat that he is but at the same time with movies like joker that came out showing us how people get to these dark places in their life i think it would be very interesting to see yes how charles lee ray became the lakeshore strangler what happened to him as a kid what was his childhood like why is he like this now because you like i said before i don't believe people just are like this this when i say this i don't believe anyone would go around killing so many people without any rhyme or reason unless you're michael myers 
Uh, and when I say Michael Myers, we don't, I believe there's a reason for Michael Myers too. We just don't, we don't need to know it. We, that there's something about Michael Myers where I will always argue we don't need to know why he does what he does. It goes back to that, the way the original film was handled and it works so well. We don't need to know why Michael Myers did what he did when he was a kid or why he continues to do, do what he does now. Yes, it would be nice, but I think it's been a mystery for so long, they can't give us a satisfying answer. They tried to, and that didn't work. So with Chucky, going back and giving us the whole, oh, I was bullied as a kid. I had a horrible childhood shtick. That could work, depending on how it is come, how it is handled on screen. It's nothing brand new. They do this with a lot of villains. Michael Myers, Rob Zombie did that with Michael Myers in his remake. Uh, they try to give you this backstory if they had a bad home life. Things were rough at home. Things were rough at school. They didn't fit in. The normal things that you would see for most people that try to come up with a sympathetic story for villains who probably don't need one. Just let them be villains. So I think that could work. And I think we could explore how he probably had a horrible relationship at home with his mother. He probably lost his mother at a young age, probably went through a lot of turmoil at school, being bullied. And he probably just witnessed some horrific things as a child, because I think that's something that should be explored and I probably think that I think that's what will happen in this series. We'll get to explore these horrific things that he endured as a kid that brought him to becoming the man that he is. And unfortunately, this this broken person who is this deranged serial killer now. Uh, your opinions on him are whatever your opinions are on a serial killer. Uh, Chucky aside, you're a broken person if you're doing that. Anyone who's doing that, I think you're a broken person and you need you definitely need help. You need to serve time for your crimes and you need help. But that's just like a different that's just my side opinion on that whole topic. Since we're going to talk about what happened to Charles, I'm thinking that's what they're going to do since this is set in his hometown. They're going to go over what made him who he was. So I'm looking forward to that. I think this would be a great chance to get to see more add a little bit more depth to the character of Charles uh, or Chucky rather starting to sound like Tyler. <laughs> uh, he hates being called Charles, as we know. So maybe there's something that will tell us why he hates that name, too. Why does he not like being called Charles or why did he get the nickname Chucky? But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, you will see me in the next video. And in the comment section below, I'll leave a link to the Facebook group. Please join that and talk about horror things with us all.